Now look. Quietly, quietly, everyone, please, please, please. For copyright reasons, you're nothing to do with the great Nintendo company, are you? <laughs> if you're not familiar with what's going on here, uh, these uh, gentlemen are the sweater guys. Every now and again, they come to the show, there's two of them, they wear the same clothes, and that's enough to get you on this show. <laughs> And if you've, uh, if, uh, uh, and if you've, uh, if you've watched this show for any length of time, you'll know that for what this sweater dude here once broke up with this sweater dude and brought another sweater dude, it was shameful. But, but what happened was that they they made up and then they're back again. Probably something to do with this very convincing moustache. <laughs> It's great, you look like very capable lesbians. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know, what you're I know what you're thinking, and many people have said this. I know many people have said, Craig, why do you put these guys on the show? They are just looking for attention. And I go, oh yeah, that would make them different from everybody else on TV for a while. <laughs> They're just dressing up so that you look at them. Yes! <laughs> Would, I mean, you know the thing is, though, that they were raised uh, in the circus. These... <laughs> I, I played Mario, I played Mario, did I? In the... Oh yeah, when we did that thing! Oh, you have a clip? Oh, that's why, you want, you want me to call for the clip, then you'll show the clip? No! <laughs> Oh, all right. Let me see it then. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That's it? No, wait, no. Do not applaud this. I mean, come on. You have a still photograph from a sketch we did some time ago? And you're so proud that I had a costume you want to show it on TV? Actually, I've got to admit, the homemade costumes from the sweater guys were much better than what I was wearing. <laughs> And that moustache is real on that dude. <laughs> Up close, you can tell. He's false, but the moustache is real. <laughs> Actually, wait there. Oh, no, I, you can't wear another man's moustache. I was going to say, give me the moustache and I'll put it on, but I think that would, you know, that way, herpes lies, you know. <laughs> By the way, Herpes Lies is the name of my new book. Uh, it's a collection of short stories about how people get herpes. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a winner. All right, I'll be right back. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by HTC. Phones that get you. the time of the warm-up comedian is over. That's right, you're good. Everything's gonna be just a fine. Hey, do you know what I didn't say last night? 
and nobody around here noticed, I didn't say, it's a great day for America, everybody. I didn't say it. I, I didn't say it last night, and I feel awful. But I've said it tonight, because I didn't say it last night, which led to day three of the long national nightmare we're facing now, which is, of course, the baseless accusations being throwing at Charlie Sheen. <laughs> No big city lawyer, but since when is it illegal to trash a hotel room and lock a hooker in a closet? <laughs> well, it's probably been illegal for quite a while, actually. In Charlie's defense, though, he only destroyed the hotel room after he found out how much they charged for those mini bar peanuts. <laughs> There's a lot of the Charlie Sheen news. We should have a graphic. Do we have a graphic for Charlie Sheen news? Come on. Sheen words, baby. I don't know, I don't know if that was a graphic or kind of a play. <laughs> anyway, it turns out the woman in Charlie's closet wasn't just a prostitute, she's also an actress. Yes, it was Dame Judi Dench. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was good. I'm in the closet, Charlie, and I refuse to come out. No, it wasn't Dame Judi Dench. It was an actress who starred in, and I'm not kidding, the movies Big Bust Cougars and... <laughs> Are there any other type? And, and their other movie was Les Stravaganza. Uh, Le <laughs> no, wait. Les Stravaganza 11. Oh, uh, There you go. I actually have seen Les Stravaganza 11, and it's better than I thought it would be. And I thought it would be awesome. Anyway, today Charlie Sheen said that the whole incident has been, and I quote, this is what he said, he said, it's been overblown. I think you can say the same about Charlie. <laughs> if it's possible that a man can be overblown, I don't know. Oh, uh, always right. Anyway, do you know what it's really getting me? It's like today, Charlie said that the woman stole a hundred thousand dollar watch from him, and I'm thinking, why are you even bringing this up? It's like, what does he even need for a, a watch for? It's like, hey, my next hooker's late. What's going on? You know, if you're going to get caught in a situation, like, shut up about it. Don't go, hey, I know all that. Where's my watch, everybody? <laughs> Charlie's saying that she stole the watch, and the poor star is saying, no, I didn't. And Brett Favre is like, oh, thank God nobody's talking about me anymore. Brett Favre. Yeah, Brett Favre. Anyway, with all the brouhaha about Charlie Sheen, it's all, I, you know, it's almost possible to forget that Halloween weekend is almost upon us. It officially started tonight at midnight, because we're live, of course. Uh, so it <laughs> started about half an hour ago, or 37 minutes, or it might be 23 minutes from now, depending on your region. <laughs> anyway, it starts at midnight because that's when the movie Saw 3D opened. Was it midnight? I've never seen any of these uh, Saw movies, or I should say, I've never saw any of the songs. <laughs> you know when the first one came out, there was a lot of those Abbott and Costello type things. You know, I just saw, saw, saw what? Saw, saw, what'd you see? I saw, saw. <laughs> Shut up, you fat drunk. Anyway, there's been seven of those movies. I remember when the first one came back, uh, came out back in 2004, it was. And, uh, uh, time flies when you're cutting your own foot off. <laughs> I won't be seeing Saw 3D. Slasher movies are not my cup of tea. Not in 3D, anyway. If I wanted to see body parts flying towards me, I would rent a hotel room with Charlie Sheen. That's what I'm saying. Now. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, no. I'm only kidding. It's, everything's fine. <laughs> now, I want to talk about the Saw movie. The horror things happen to people in these movies. Their limbs get twisted, their bodies get cut up, they get blasted in the face with toxic gases. Actually, that's the Jackass movies. But there's Saw... <laughs> Saw 3D is coming out right after Jackass 3D. I'm sick of the 3D. Those little glasses are disgusting. You never know how many people have had them on their face before you. They're like Kardashians. <laughs> Shut up, it's just a joke. 
<laughs> I don't like the slasher movies. I like the scary movies, like the older scary movies, The Shining, The Poltergeist, uh, Steel Magnolias. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, that was terrifying. I had that big thing with the giant teeth. What's it called? Julia Roberts. Ah! <laughs> you know the one I saw was... Um... Oh, shut up. It's a joke. Anyway. Actually, no. Anyway, the... Uh... I saw Poltergeist. It was a really scary movie. I saw that in the 1980s, and I was very, very high when I saw it. I mean, really kind of almost didn't get into the movie theater. I was like... I was watching the popcorn machine for about 10 minutes. <laughs> This movie's awesome! And they're like, no, no, come on. And I was watching it, and I was very, very, very scared. You know, because I was, you know, I'd been, I was high. And I was, I was looking at the screen going, please don't let this be real! And that was just at the midget chick. Oh, sorry, that's, sorry, that's offensive. I shouldn't say that. Midget lady. I was... Anyway, The Shining, The Shining came out a few years before The Portergeist. Now, The Shining is a classic. That's one where Jack Nicholson goes nuts in a hotel. <laughs> you know, you know, there are, you know, you know it's a big story in the news where you don't even have to mention the story. You just wait for people to <laughs> go, oh! write that joke and you go yes you can <laughs> it kind of writes itself really <laughs> anyway <laughs> the sponsors are cock a hoop <laughs> now do you mean the sponsors are excited or the actual sponsors are a company called cock a hoop this evening <laughs> yep <laughs> In that case, please uh, stay tuned and see the fine products available from the great cock hoop company. <laughs> we'll be right back. to the show where tonight things are stuff. Um, <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Let's do the tweet thing. <laughs> All right, let's do the tweet thing. Play the thing. Okay, let's have a look at that. <laughs> awesome! Yeah. There you go. Oh! Yeah. You know, the reaction from the audience should really be, oh, yeah, to a fantastic stunt like that. No, when you see it go, oh. <laughs> we spent the entire next year budget of the show on that. I hope Secretariat is all right. <laughs> I'm worried about him because he's a real horse and I have pictures of him next to my cat. <laughs> Someone's going to have to clear that up and it's not going to be me. It is going to be me. It is going to be me. 
going to be me. I'll have to do it during the next commercial break. Craig, you've given it away. Now they know there's going to be another commercial break. <laughs> yeah, there will be at some point. <laughs> this is from Darren and Egan and Minnanin. <laughs> he says, Dear Craig, does Jeff Peterson ever need to be oiled? In your pants. Yeah, <laughs> Only when he's being massaged. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, this is, are you detecting a certain frostiness between Jeff and I tonight? <laughs> Good. <laughs> this is from uh, Delonte in Washington, D.C. That's a lovely, <laughs> lovely name. Dear Craig, my fiancé and I are having trouble figuring out where we're going on our honeymoon. Any suggestions that aren't too cliché? Yes, Amsterdam. <laughs> Hardly anyone goes on honeymoon there. <laughs> My first marriage, I went on honeymoon to Amsterdam. <laughs> it would have been awesome if she'd come too. Uh, this is from Shane in Raleigh in North Carolina. <laughs> Shane said, uh, Dear Craig, I'm 20 and have noticed that I'm already going grey. Should I embrace it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, actually, I've noticed recently that people have said on the Tweety that I'm dyeing my hair. And I'm like, I, where? Where am I dyeing my hair? What part of this looks to you like... Here, get closer. 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 Bear, where's the dye in there? In your pants. I, I have dyed the hair in my pants. I have. You know what? I actually am. I used to think dyeing your hair is vain, and then I thought, no, it doesn't matter. You're, like putting on your pants is vain. Then I mean, you can do anything you want. You're allowed to dye your hair. You see, I'm softening on the hair dye position, which probably means I'm getting ready to dye my hair. That's right. I am going to dye it, but it's going to be blonde, bitch. <laughs> That's right. Daddy's going to have more fun for a change. Ding dong. Ding dong is right. I'm tired to be the one being the advocate for pretend cats. <laughs> A complete waste of time, that jumping the horse through the pane of glass. Yep. It's made me so mad. I'm all angry at the skeleton and everything. Yep. <laughs> this is from Shane in Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, no, he's never done that. Yeah. <laughs> He's going grey. That's why I went grey at 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, you suck. <laughs> uh, we had a time, I don't worry about it. This is from Jeff. Oh, it's a different Jeff. Uh, this is from Jeff in Calgary in Alberta, which is in Canada. <laughs> says, Dear Craig, and you wouldn't make that noise if you were really Canadian. <laughs> if you were really Canadian, you'd go like this. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so, Jeff in Calgary over says, Dear Craig and Jeff, this is for you as well, Jeff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm having problems getting a girlfriend. Do you have any pointers? In your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Uh, yep. Are, yeah, I, uh, yeah, you're in trouble getting a girlfriend. What we want to do is get yourself a T-shirt with a picture of a cat on it. And then somebody will come over and go, oh, I love cats. And you'll know that's not the girl for you. <laughs> um, all right, we have to take a break because uh, i got to tidy this up. Uh, and when we come back, oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. What's that coming to go? Which is what? Which is what Cinderella should have said to the ugly sister. <laughs> <laughs> there are two movie stars in the world. 
Sean Connery and Michael Caine. My next guest is a, one of them. His new <laughs> memoir, The Elephant to Hollywood, uh, is in stores now. Please welcome the legend that is Sir Michael Caine, everybody. Sir Michael Caine. About that, hey? That's lovely, that is. You've got the book on it, it's in the hardcover. Do you know what I like, though? The, what? Not so much the front cover, which is great. Yes. But the back cover. <laughs> that was before it was gay to do that, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was being cheerful. Yeah. <laughs> it does, that's they funny, They turned it into gay later. <laughs> but that does look like now, nowadays, if you yeah. look at that, you'd think, oh, that's... That's that... a guys are gay, but you, you, we didn't bother in those days. When I posed for that, I didn't know what gay was. It's true. <laughs> All right. I like your beard. Do you? Thank yeah, you. I do. Yeah, it's very nice. Love the beard. Ooh la la splash. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, it's because he hasn't got one. No, he hasn't. That's and not the only thing. He's not going to get one either. No, not anytime soon. You know, his penis is still in customs. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> How were you getting over? Were you all right? Yeah, Did you get mine's through? still there as well. <laughs> <laughs> I only got here yesterday. <laughs> It'll my, probably... my voice goes up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is from the elephant. Tell them what the elephant is then. The the it's called the Elephant to Hollywood. The Elephant is a very, very tough district of London, in it South is. London, named after a pub called the Elephant and Castle. The pub was originally named, when it was built a couple of hundred years ago, it was named after King Charles II's Spanish mistress called the Infanta de Castile. And so they built this inn called the Infanta de Castile, and the Cockneys couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> so they called it the Elephant and Castle. And that's the, it's, there's hardly any of it left now, the, the Elephant, though, really? It's no, I, I shot, I shot, I went back, actually, and shot a movie called Harry Brown, like, Ex right exactly where I come from in these projects, which are terrible, but they were pulling them down, and they're all down now. They're all really? That's yeah, it. where I was, where I was, this crap place where I came from. Like, <laughs> stop glamorizing it. You're becoming nostalgic. No, 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 right, no, okay. no, no. But, but I mean, now is is the highest penthouse in Europe. Really? Yeah, you would be amazed. There's I one am... and a half billion pounds being spent there. Really? Yeah. In the elephant? At the elephant. Okay, I haven't been in London in a long time. I'm surprised. I know, you, you sound like it. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in Scotland, yeah, now, I've been you? in Scotland, though, every now and again. How is how's Sean doing? How's Sir Sean doing? Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him, but he was 80 about two weeks ago. I can hardly believe that. He can yeah, still he beat 80, me to yeah, a pulp yeah. with one hand. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. 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 But he's, he, he's 80 now, and, and, and I called him. And he, he was very ill, you know, really. Was very, he? very, yeah, very ill. He lost 30 pounds. Good Lord. But I didn't know what was wrong with it. He had an infection in the tooth. And he says to me, he said, Have you got any bridge work, Michael? So. Did he I say, thought, Would you like me to say it like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you got any bridge work, Michael? <laughs> Good, isn't it? That's not bad. So I, I said, Well, yeah, I've got some, Sean. He said, Well, have someone look underneath it. Really? Yeah, he said, because stuff was there, and he, he nearly died, Sean. I've got some bridge work. Have you? Have a look underneath it. I can't. I can't right now, not until the commercials. <laughs> You're all right. I can uh, yeah, I'll yeah, be all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. No, I'll be fine. I, uh, I, I always imagine... You don't live in London now, do you? I have, yeah, I have an apartment in London. I, I live in the country. I, I live out, outside, like... Uh, um, I live about 40 minute drive from London, but I have I have an apartment in Chelsea Harbour. Oh, it's nice there. It's yeah. nice there, yeah. 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 But I I uh, I always imagine you living in some kind of tropical island for some reason. I don't know why. I imagine you kind of sitting around with you know you and just like you know just drinks and girls with bikinis and. <laughs> No, I've been married to the same woman for 40 years. Oh, no, I didn't think you were doing it. I just, they were just bringing you drinks. I know. I know. No, but funny you should say that, because my wife is from a tropical island. She's from British Guiana. Is it still cold there? Hey, no, it's hot there. No, no. We, we... <laughs> no. I said, is it still cold there? And because of my accent, you said, it's, it's is, it cold, no, no, said is it cold there? I thought you said, is it cold there? 
Which we actually... never understood the Scots here. No, no, it's... we didn't. We never understood them. But the uh, but the British Guiana is is it called British Guiana? Still? British. There's there's three, isn't there? There's Dutch, French, and British Guiana. Oh, right. But she's actual fact. She was her parents emigrated. She's Kashmiri. Oh. Yeah, she's a Kashmiri. Yeah. That's that's rather nice. Yeah. She'd never yeah. given me a pullover though. Does she knit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you have a house in some kind of tropical island then, do you? Or I, have, do... I have an apartment in South Beach in Florida. Well, that's, well, that's fairly... Uh... That is a tropical island, that's, yeah. It's what, good. South Beach? South Beach, yeah. It's kind of North Cuba. Yeah, yeah, North Cuba, yeah. It's a bit like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. I, li I like South Beach. Have you ever been to Cuba? No. Are you saying that for legal uh, reasons I... or you've never actually been? <laughs> for, for several reasons. That's right. I, I, I remember once I was I was in Florida and I had this I had a restaurant in South Beach right. a long a long time ago. Really? Yeah. Well, did you cook in it? No. All right. No. I, <laughs> you just owned I it. I was the owner. All right. I, no, I owned it. I owned this restaurant in South Beach, and uh, um, I, I had a friend, a Cuban friend, and I said to him, I said, I'm thinking of going to uh, Cuba. Right. Uh, and he said, Don't. I said, Why not? He said, They will burn your restaurant down if you go to Cuba. Really? Yeah. So, Cole, because you were, you know, you, yeah. being friendly to Castro. Yeah, yeah stuff, being friendly yeah. to Castro. But I don't think it counts anymore. No, I think. No, I, I think it's all going to be all right. I think when Castro pops it, it'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you hope he pops it, or you hope it'll be all right? Both. Bit of both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see where you're going yeah, yeah. with that. Yeah. Well, you know how you do. Yes, yes, yeah, yes I do. Yeah. Yeah. Are you, uh, you making a film then? You doing anything right Yeah, now? that's why I'm growing a beard. I don't like beards, but I'm making a film called Mysterious Island. You know the Jules Byrne story? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mysterious Island. The one about the Mysterious Island? Yeah. Yes! Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's, it, it's great for me because I, I've just become a real... Two years ago, I became a real grandfather in real life. Congratulations. And I'm playing a grandfather in this. Right. And that's one first for me. And the other first is it's a, it's a film in 3D. Really? I've never made a film Yo, You have to be careful. The stuff could fly towards you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you but seen you look it? Like you've got a big nose. No, don't you? no, yeah. no, no. It's all right. No. Um, you know, you'll be fine. No, well, I, I, yeah, I've, I've never seen a 3D movie, so I'll, I'm going to wait till this comes out and I'll go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just the same acting, isn't it? You don't have to do special. Oh, like that. I, th I think you do do a lot of that. You have actually. to do a bit of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're a it's natural. Scottish, Scottish. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> now, where are you shooting Mysterious Island, then? In, in Hawaii. Oh, lovely. I yeah. like it down there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really know it. I'm, I'm shooting on an island called Oahu. Oh, that's the, that's the main... Well, that's, that's where Honolulu the main is. Big yeah. Island. yeah, it's yeah. where Honolulu and Waikiki Beach and all that. So it, it sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Waikiki? Waikiki. <laughs> How do you pronounce it, then? I think that's it. Waikiki, Waikiki. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any Waikiki? advance well, on Waikiki? Waikiki I mean, yeah. Waikiki. Waikiki. Oh, pardon me. Oh, you're yeah. such a... <laughs> He's so smug. Yeah, yeah. Sitting there in the dark. No, I think it'd be nice, you know, and it's, it's uh, winter in England, so it's, it's lovely. That's why you took the film, isn't it? No. <laughs> the, what... No, I, I took the film because I have grandchildren now. Right. And I get to ride around on a giant bumblebee. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and I thought with my grandson, when he's, he, he's only two, so he can't go and see it now, but eventually he's going to go, it's my grandchildren are going to see their, their grandfather riding around on a giant bumblebee. <laughs> that and is, he's going to that's... say to the kids at school, could your grandfather do Yeah, that? no, that's good. <laughs> we have to take a break, do you mind? No, we'll, All right, we'll, take, we'll, a break. we'll take a break. We'll be right back with Michael Caine, everybody. Michael Caine. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm here with Michael Caine, or he's here with me, actually. I'm here with him, yeah. aren't I, really, yeah. Because um, you're always here, I'm not. That's true, I'm here yeah. every night, you're off so to... I must be here with you. All right, that's enough. This All right. <laughs> the, uh, do you play the mouth organ, by the way? No. Do you want to start? No. <laughs> you, you might want to give it a go. No, I don't want to get poison bridge work. You won't get poison bridge work. It's a, <laughs> it's a perfectly clean... Is it? No. I, I, it's I, never I been blown. No. <laughs> 
You're back to Charlie Sheen. Yeah, I'm back again. to Charlie Sheen, yeah. <laughs> I saw that out there. Oh, he's, yeah. a, he's a bit of a rascal. But, I mean, do you think uh, people are, uh, are, are, actors are badly behaved, are worse now than they were then, or they just get caught more? Now? No, they get caught more. That's what I think. Yeah, because too, yeah. back then we didn't have the paparazzi, you didn't have all these magazines, you didn't have TV shows, entertainment tonight. You could do what you like. Yeah. And then the paparazzi came along and spoiled it all. <laughs> So are you saying to me it's conceivable that at a certain point in your life you may have been in a hotel room with a hooker locked in a closet yourself? Uh, no. Or, or something similar. No, something, no, it's something similar, but yeah, not, yeah. not locked in the closet. Not locked in the closet. No, no point no. putting them in the closet. Well, it wouldn't have been a hooker that? either, yeah. yeah. No, no I, I, hookers, no, no. I, no. I, I've never been with hookers. I was always so conceited I couldn't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Actors are very good. She should be paying me. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, it might not be conceited. It might just be frugal. You know, you, you come from no, a but poor you're Scot But you're Scots. You're no. frugal. I'm frugal. <laughs> I am frugal. I'm Cockney. We're yeah. generous people. Cockneys. Scottish people are generous too. No, so. the Cockneys are generous because they haven't got anything. Right. So you, it's nothing to give away. So well, that's right. why Scottish people don't go with prostitutes because they're frugal. It's like, they're frugal. oh, I would like to have sex, but I'm, I'm not too paying for it. No. For the no. 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 I'll just stay home and take care of myself. Exactly. <laughs> That's really frugal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bleak picture, isn't is it? Is it a bleak picture? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Hawaii, are you going to do any surfing or anything like that? Are you outdoorsy no, at all? No, no, I'm not outdoorsy. I, 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 I joined the... I no, didn't join the army. I was gra dragged screaming into the army. And, and, I, <laughs> and I, I was in it two years. We used to have national service in England. And I never did so much exercise in my life. There's you a lot know? of exercise and I was in the army. I was walking miles and running up mountains with... 86 pound packs on my back and all. I was in the infantry. All right. And, and, and I thought, if I ever get out of this alive, I'm never going to do another bit of exercise as long as I <laughs> And I got out just alive and I've never done any exercise since. You really don't do any exercise? Well, no, I walk four or five miles a day, but that's, well, that's... you know, I was an infantry man, so it's easy. Right, all right. Yeah. I, just with no, no backpack on or anything or just walking? No, no, I don't carry a pack. No, I have people to do that for me. <laughs> I have a man with an 86-pound pack behind me. Behind me, me yeah. yeah. Well, you're Michael Caine. You don't I'm need Michael that. Michael Caine. Yeah, you don't do need that. that. No. Yeah, no, you're no, quite you don't right. Yeah. So what are you going to do down in Hawaii, then, apart from shooting this, this, shooting this, uh, this giant bumblebee? What are you going to do apart from that? I don't know. Why are you on a bumblebee in the film anyway? What happens? Like, well, because it, it's it's, it's, it's one of those it? things. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's our friends, and the bumblebees come and help us when the dinosaur comes. <laughs> Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? They would, they if would. If the it's dinosaurs true. come, the bu bu bumblebees come and help you. Who, who will help us now that the dinosaurs are here? Yeah. Thank God the bumblebees yeah, made bumblebee it. Yeah, bumblebees so, so it'll be fun, you know. Oh, yeah, it sounds like a real yeah. nail-biter, this one. And then, <laughs> and then after that, I think probably do Batman. Oh, another Batman, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Hooray! Christian Bale again. Yeah. I like Christian Bale. I like Christian Bale. I think Christian Bale is great. Do you remember when that they had that thing where they uh, they released the tapes of him being all angry on a film set? Yeah. And he got in trouble and I went mad. I was like, you pay this guy to be unstable and crazy, right? Yeah. And then when he's unstable and crazy, you go, oh, that's disgraceful. I yeah. mean, you pay him to be unstable yeah. and crazy. But I, I wasn't surprised at that at all because I, I used to have a very bad temper. I don't now, right. but I used to. And I mean, what Christian did was quite pale to what I would do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he did about 10 minutes. I want, once did 45 minutes. Really? Yeah, but there was no one recording it. <laughs> well, I think they started and ran out of tape. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that... I think what happens, though, if you ask an actor to be all kind of, you know, keyed up and tense and you, they've been waiting around all day to be a certain way yeah. and then you kind of, you know... You know what worried me about that? What? That was a big special effects picture, right? Right. It takes ages for it to come out. Right. They recorded this during shooting and right. the record never came on the television and the radio till the week it was being released. Yeah. Isn't that suspicious? It is. 
It's they almost as it, if you know? it's almost as if the studio were in some way. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you know what they're like. Yo, know, I do. Yeah. They're slimy. Christian is bastards. a lovely boy. Yeah. I, 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 he is nice, Christian. Yeah. I've never yeah. met him, but I've decided he's nice. I, I, I've just, I, know, I know him very well. Take my word for it. Uh, yeah, I'm, no, the, I, I'm his butler. I look after. I brought the boy up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, you. Uh... Wait, wait. He didn't really. <laughs> He's just Michael no. Caine. He's filled you with his acting. Yeah. Again. No. Look. <laughs> Would you ever hang it up? Would you ever stop acting and direct or something like that? No. No, you're not interested? No, your directors have to turn up every day and... <laughs> you know what actors are like? You, you give them a script and they say... First thing you say, is the part big? And they look, oh, yeah, it's lovely and big. And then the next thing he looks at, how many days have I got off? Yeah. That's the way we look at it, yeah. Is yeah. that how you look at it then? Yeah, exactly, how, yeah. How many days off? Oh, blimey, yeah. How many bumblebees do I have to ride yeah, in this Yeah, yeah, I, I ride a bumblebee for two days, but I do get a day off. Well, in your days off, what I'm saying is your days off in Hawaii, then what will you do? You won't do anything, you're just going to lie I'll on the beach? I'll go around and walk on the beach with my wife. I and the bloke behind you carrying the backpack? You see this right, I right. want to talk to you about that cover. All right. You see that cover? This was taken by... I went to pose for the cover. But this is really rather like life I was thinking the other day. I went to pose for the cover. Right. And for two hours, Terry O'Neill, my friend and I, we, and I'm posing, he's got all the lights, you know, he's going, look, the bird, the, 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 the. And then in the end, I said to him, no more photos. And he took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the picture. That's nice, that. That's a lovely picture. But life's like that. You try to do something, it doesn't work, and then suddenly, out of the blue, Bang, it that, happens. That's what that's what this show is, pal. Yeah. Uh, I know, I've seen I'm it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I like these photographs, some great, great old photographs photos. of you. Oh, yeah. look at that, the man who would be king. Look at that. Yeah. You and Sean. Me and Sean, yeah. yeah. Great. Man. That's a great movie, that, that Man Oh, well, Amanda would be king, yeah. I loved Amanda would be king. That's a great yeah. film, that. Yeah. yeah. We're out of time now, no. I'm just looking at the book now. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we're done. You're done. It's all right. You eh? relax now, yeah. Are we finished? Oh, yeah. Is this a commercial? No, the commercials haven't started. We're just... They'll we'll you know, start in a minute. Yeah, they'll go in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is there anything you need? Is there something you want? No, no. no. I can get you a shamwo or a... a what? A sh oh, shamwo. A sh a sh shammy. Shammy, yeah. Well, shammy they, no, they call we them call a shamwo now. A shamwo? Yeah, for the digital de generation. It's a type of camel, isn't it? A shamwo? <laughs> yeah, it's a transvestite camel, a shamwo, yeah. Two bumps. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so, Michael Caine, everybody. If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> That's my favorite one. Now, let's see if you'd have come up to me in 1985 and said, hey, I'd be like, ah! Oh! <laughs> but you'd have said, hey, Craig, you know, what's going to happen to you is in a while you're going to get your own talk show in America and you'll be able to sit for 20 minutes and shoot I get up, Michael Caine. <laughs> I'd have said you were insane. <laughs> but I just shot Ooh, la, la. Michael Caine for 20 minutes. I know. So, here's what I'm telling you. If you're out there lying in your own feces... <laughs> ..thinking, oh, God, when will I stop drinking? Make it... make it soon. Now, I'm not saying you'll get to shoot uh -oh. with Michael Caine, but I did. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Really? It's just an amazing thing to me. Like, like Michael, it's Michael Caine. We're not talking about some... I'm not talking about Justin Tootsie Fruits. Bieber. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Michael Caine. 
fantastic. Yeah, nothing against Justin Bieber, actually. I always say that about Justin Bieber. He's a perfectly nice young man, I would imagine. I don't know. I've never met him. His haircut. Ooh, la, la. That doesn't make you a bad... If that makes you a bad guy, uh-oh. You know... <laughs> we done? Yeah. Right. Well, it only remains for me to say good night. I've enjoyed your company. Aww. Aww. And please look out for my collection of short stories, Herpes Lies. 